Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to learn about how to manage secrets, tokens and certificates. My name is Sushant Sutish and I'm your trainer for this AZ400 Azure DevOps Engineer Export Certification course. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So first learn about how you can use Azure Key Vault to manage secrets, tokens and certificates. You can use Azure Key Vault to securely store and tightly control access to tokens, passwords, certificates, API keys, and other secrets. Azure Key Vault can also be used as a key management solution, and Azure Key Vault make it easier to create and control the encryption keys used to encrypt your data. And Azure Key Vault is also a service that lets you easily provision and manage and deploy public and private SSL TLS certificates for use with Azure and your internal connected resources. And the secrets and keys can be predicted either by a software or FIPS 140-2 level 2 validated HSMs. So you might wonder, why should you use Azure Key Vault? Mainly it is to centralize application secrets. Your application can securely access the information they need by using URIs, that allows them to retrieve specific versions of secret after the application key or secret is stored in Azure Key Vault. This happens without having to write custom code to protect any of the secret information. Let's look at how Azure Key Vault helps you securely store secret and keys. The secrets and keys are safeguarded by Azure using industry standard algorithms, key lens, and hardware security modules and accessing to the key vault require proper authentication and authorization before a caller can get access. And the authentication establishes the identity of the caller while authorization determines the operations that they have allowed to perform. And how can you use Azure Key Vault to monitor access and use? Once you have created a couple of key vault, you will want to monitor how and when your keys and secrets are being accessed. You can do this by enabling logging for Key Vault and you can configure Azure Key Vault to archive to a storage account, stream to an event hub, and send the logs to log analytics. And you have control over your logs and you may secure them by restricting access and you may also delete logs that you no longer need. And how does Azure Key Vault help you simplify administration of application secret? So Azure Key Vaults allow you to segregate application secrets. Application may access only the vault that they are allowed to access and they be limited to only perform specific operations. And you can create an Azure Key Vault per application and restrict the secrets stored in Key Vault to a specific application and team of developers. And finally, you would be able to integrate with other Azure services as well. Let's look into DevOps inner and outer loop. While you can store configuration and secrets together, it violates our separation of concern principle. So the recommendation is to leverage a separate store for persisting secrets. This allows a secure channel for sensitive configuration data, such as connection strings. Enable the operations team to have credentials, certificates, and token in one repository and minimizes the security risk in case of configuration store get compromised. This is an example diagram which shows how these roles play together in a DevOps inner loop and outer loop. The inner loop is focused on the developer teams integrating over their solution development. They consume the configuration published by the outer loop. The ops engineer govern the configuration management and push changes into Azure Key Vault and Kubernetes that are further isolated per environment. That concludes this episode. In the next video, we're going to look into Module 6 Knowledge Check. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.